buffer calculation number two. Now we've already seen how we can calculate the pH of a buffer knowing the concentrations of the ethanoic acid and the sodium ethanoate. And we've got a value here of 5.17. Now let's just add to that little calculation and say what is the change in the pH if we add 5 cubic centimetres of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide to 100 cubic centimetres of this buffer solution. So what happens in this case? Well, <clears throat> what we have is our equilibrium, HA. There. But we also have sodium hydroxide here reacting. So the hydroxide ions are going to react with the acid. And notice what happens in this particular case. Let me just get rid of that. You know. Notice what happens in this. That decreases. Our HA decreases. And our A minus increases. And you can see that the decrease in HA depends upon the amount of hydroxide that we have and of course for every mole of HA that we lose we gain the same amount of A minus. So if we can work out the initial amounts of HA and A minus and find out how much hydroxide is reacting with that A minus we can work out the final amounts of HA and A minus and put those back into our equilibrium expression. So let's do this. Now we're taking 100 cubic centimetres of our buffer solution in this particular case. So the number of moles of our hydrogen ions, sorry, the number of moles of our HA is going to be equal to 100 cubic centimetres. Let's make that 0 0.1 cubic decimetres. Multiplied by the concentration of the ethanoic acid, which was 0 0.1. that. The number of moles of our A- minus in the buffer solution. Again, we're taking 100 cubic centimetres, but the concentration of the sodium ethanoate was 0 0.25. The number of moles of hydroxide that we're adding We're adding 5 cubic centimetres of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide. So the number of moles of hydroxide ions that we've got is going to be 0 0.005 cubic decimetres and our concentration 0 0.2. One times 10 to the minus 3. So therefore, HA is going to decrease by 1 times 10 to the minus 3, and A minus is going to increase by 1 times 10 to the minus 3. So therefore, we can say that the number of moles of HA remaining is going to be 0 0.010 minus 1 times 10 to the minus 3. Nine times ten to the minus three, and number of moles of A minus remaining zero point zero two five plus one times ten to the minus three zero point zero two six. So in the same way that we had before, we can work out concentration of hydrogen ions 
Okay, A. Multiplied by the concentration of the acid, which is going to be 9.0 times 10 to the minus 3 over volume, which of course is 105. And the concentration of our A minus 0 0.026 over V. And notice the volumes can cancel, which is why I wasn't too worried about those. That gives me a value of, if I do the calculation, 5.88 times 10 to the minus 6. And if I take the negative log of 5.88 times 10 to the minus 6, I can work out my pH. Point 0.23 and you can see <coughs> that from my previous calculation I think you can see we started with five uh, we ended up with 5.17 here we're ending up with a pH value of 5.23 buffer solutions resist change in pH they don't stop change 